Greetings, Skill and Carney bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back as we look at another indie game. This time I'm returning to the construction industry with Construction Simulator. This is the latest entry in the extremely popular Construction Simulator series by German indie developer Welton Bauer Software. The game was also published by Astragon Entertainment, who specialise in simulation titles like Police Simulator, Bus Simulator and Firefighting Simulator. I've been following the Construction Simulator series for the last few years after they came highly recommended by several of my family and friends who work in the industry. They praised the series' attention to detail, with depictions of real-world tools, equipment and vehicles based on their real-life counterparts, as well as realistic build mechanics and real-world locations. With high praise coming from professionals in the industry that this game is based on, as well as rave reviews on the previous games, I had high expectations for Construction Simulator. I can say, the praise for the game is well deserved, and this is one of the most detailed simulation games I've ever played. Construction Simulator places you in the dangerous but lucrative construction industry, with you setting up your own business in a real-life depiction of a US or European town which has fallen on hard times. The game's campaign involves your attempt to rebuild the town infrastructure through a number of challenging construction projects, such as renovating an old hotel and constructing a theme park, thus restoring the town to glory and growing your company's profile. After completing a simple tutorial introducing you to the basics, you'll begin with simple jobs, like paving roads and replacing broken pipes, using basic machinery like tractors and pavers. As you successfully complete projects, you'll get access to larger, more complex vehicles, with literally hundreds on offer, from dozens of real-world manufacturers. The attention to detail is amazing, with each vehicle having its own unique controls and handling, as well as controls for equipment like scoops and cranes. It was an incredibly immersive experience, as I learned to handle each new vehicle and piece of equipment, with each having a sense of size and weight, making you feel like you're really behind the wheel of a heavy duty machine. The game's relaxed pace allows a player to learn the game mechanics at their own pace. It's no secret I've been enjoying Construction Simulator, but of course I have to note the issues I've found playing the game. Firstly, the game vehicles are missing some realism elements. There's no damage system for any of the vehicles. You'll often be driving to and from projects in your machinery, and while running a red light will get you a fine, you can plough through any vehicle in your way with no penalty. Additionally, vehicles don't handle any differently when carrying a heavy load compared to being empty. I would have also liked to see information displayed for your vehicles like carry capacity and fuel efficiency. I noticed the game suffers from some pacing issues in the early game, with much of your time taken manually transporting materials to and from the build site. Later in the game, you can automate some of this using a fast travel system to transport the vehicles but I would have loved the option to simply pay an extra fee to transport everything I needed to the build site later in the campaign, when I started working on the big projects. Finally, I wish the game had some sort of free play mode where I can build my own project from scratch. While these issues did cause some frustration, it was a minor problem with an otherwise excellent simulation game. Construction Simulator is quite simply the best construction game I've played so far, with a level of realism and detail that puts other simulations to shame. The game implements both construction mechanics along with a business management element, 
is you select your contracts to work on, manage your finances and equipment, and hire employees, as well as an RPG-like character leveling system allowing you to earn upgrades to increase vehicle performance and logistic upgrades to improve your business. Construction Simulator really makes you feel like you're managing a construction business, and there's no other game on the market that does this, at least for me. The icing on the cake is the multiplayer, allowing you to complete construction projects with your friends, although I wish this included local co-op. The game is quite expensive at $70 Australian, but if you're a fan of construction simulation games, or if you like the previous games, you're going to get your money's worth. I hope you enjoyed my review of Construction Simulator, and if you did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe as it really helps the channel. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I hope you'll join me next time when we look at another indie game. Until then, Skill Incarnate, out.